Hello and welcome back to another video from Gerber Camper Vans. Now today we've got a little bit of an unusual conversion that we've done. We're looking to do some bespoke work and we took this on as a way to start to explore how that work might fit into our workflow here at Gerba Camper Vans. So this is the kind of thing that we might add to our offerings here as time goes on. It's been really fun to do, it's really unusual, and it's more aimed at someone who's maybe in the delivery world or the building world, construction, contracts work, that kind of thing. It's not a leisure vehicle as such, so I'll take you in and we'll have a quick look around. So if you want to follow me this way. So the first thing you'll notice is that the whole van, and if you maybe just come to where I'm standing, you'll see this a little bit better. The first thing that you'll notice is the whole van has been finished in a raw beach plywood. And that's basically just so we can keep cost in mind. This is a construction van, it's for a metal worker. And obviously it's gonna get dirty, he's gonna be putting his tools in it and loads of tools. So it's not necessarily that important to him how the finish on the wood is. So this is the finish that we decided was best for him. It looks really, really great. What we've done is finished all the edges with this nice brushed metal finish. And that's just to keep all the edges from chipping, keeps it nice and strong, and it just finishes it off, makes it look really nice. Now in here, we've got workstation at the front and loads of storage space. Storage is massively important for this kind of thing. And we've also got 230 volts here, 230 volts here, with USB chargers on the sockets, and we've got our power inverter here, two big batteries under the seat. So that power inverter basically means that he can plug in his 230 volt tools anywhere he is, or he can plug in a microwave, or any of those sorts of things, so he can really just live out of this van when he's moving around out on sites doing work. So this is the workstation at the front, we've got lights, if you want to come up into the van, I'll take you around the rest of it. Now, if you just follow me through, we'll do the back first. You can see we've got all the storage on the right and on the left, and tapered storage on this side, built in the same way with the same beach construction. And that's so we can get his boxes of power tools, cordless drills, and slide them in. They all sit in here nicely, and he's got loads of them. And same again for this side. We've built up the front so we can have loads of screws and loads of tools in there. Just really making it a great sort of conversion for someone in the building trade. And we had this sort of bungee cord area at the back when the van came in. He really liked that. It was great for his sort of post digging tools. So we've left that for him. Now, if we do a quick switch around, if you come to where I am. Now, this is a really unique feature and it took a little bit of thinking about but we've really created something special here and this is something that's really important, especially with coronavirus and that kind of thing. So what it is, is it's a toilet cubicle, but it pulls out so you can see it extends on the rails and I'll just push it back in because we're on the video here. So it extends on the rails to give you a big cubicle and we'll swing the door open. And if you have a look in there, now this one has been fitted with a porta potty and this is completely removable and you've got access underneath to the cassette if you need to. But basically this gives you a toilet in your work van. Now we can offer a fixed toilet, not a porta potty style toilet like this, which might be a lot better, but you can just see how we've incorporated that into his van all the time, keeping cost in mind, but creating a really high quality, well thought out conversion. So I'll just close the door. And that way, bolts shut and it clips on. And yeah, fantastic. So we've got working space, space for storage, space for food. We've got 220 volt, so we can run tools. We've got the inverter, so we can power them from the battery. We don't need to be hooked up to the mains. Loads of storage in the back, loads and loads, all made to the special requirements of the customer. And then that all important toilet in the middle as well that pulls out to give extra space, extra leg room when you're on the loo. Now we've got about seven or eight strip lights. You can see these all over the van and these can be turned on at the front or the back and they also go over into the toilet. So you've got a bit of light in there too. And they're running off the external batteries that we fitted as well. Really low uh, amperage LED lights, fantastic. 
and we've also fitted an extra couple of sockets in the back that you can't see but they're in the back if he needs to you know charge batteries or power power tools out the back of his van so all in all a really really special bespoke conversion that's taken a little bit of thinking but this might shape some of the new conversions that we go on if we are to do say Gerber commercials or open up another sort of branch of what we do here we're really well known for the high quality and effort that we put in to make everything you know really well thought out and we've had loads and loads and loads of people requesting that we do these types of vans and we've always said no up until now where we're actually thinking about how we can you know serve these people as best we can but this has just been a nice experiment to do for a local customer who's just over the road to see what's possible and yeah hopefully you've enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next video thank you